Hi guys, a bit of a different one today. I've got my laptop here. We are going to assume that I'm getting a new puppy and I'm gonna show you everything I would buy if I was getting a new puppy right now. I divided these items into five categories. We have management, enrichment, training, transport, and extras. I will leave direct purchase links in the description under the video for all of these items. These will be referral links, no extra cost to you, but a great way to support the work that I do here. Starting with our management options here, we definitely need a puppy pen or an exercise pen. I like this one here for $49.99. I think it would do the trick for us. Depending on the specific puppy, we might need something a little bit more heavy duty. There's another option here. We also need a baby gate. And this one here for just under $40 looks like a good option to me. The next thing on my list is a crate. And I like the options that come with a divider that you can use to make the crate smaller or bigger, depending on how the puppy is growing up. So I like this life stages option here for about $68. We also need a dog bed. And I like this one from Bedshore. It looks like a very comfortable option. Next up, we need something to offer water to our puppy. So this two pack of stainless steel bowls is a good option. We're gonna use this only for the water. If you are after something a little bit more different, a little bit more exciting and fun for the puppy, you can get one of these water fountains. This one retails for about $40 and I think it could be an interesting choice. If I follow my protocol on how to toilet train a puppy, and I've made a video on it, I should not need this next thing a lot. But no one is perfect and I would still probably get some accidents inside a house at one point or another. So I recommend this um, enzymatic cleaner. So I, I would get one for sure. It's $14, it's not too expensive. And now to wrap up the management section, I would just get a pooper scooper so that every time I take the puppy to the designated toilet spot, I have something that makes my life a little bit easy over there. And with that, we complete the management section here. And we spent a total of $219 for this section. Next up, we have enrichment, which is one of my favorites. Let's have a look. Let's start with some Kongs. I would probably buy about three of these. It's $8 each, so I love Kongs. Let's get three of them. For my puppy, the Kong Classic would probably be fine, but depending on the specific dog, I might consider the Kong Extreme, which is just a little bit more appropriate for powerful chewers. Next, we need to get some Licky Mats, $8 each, so I'll get two of these. Okay, now we need something to put inside the Kongs and to put on the Licky Mats. This deal here looks relatively good, 12 cans for 40 bucks. I would probably go with this. If you feed raw or if you feed any other option that's fine but definitely get something to use with these items kong wobbler twenty dollars let's get one of these for now and let's use this as a good option for feeding the puppy and keep the puppy busy and then this feeding bowl for 14 15 dollars also looks like another good option for um, the times in which i might be using kibble in this enrichment section i want to get a variety of tug toys this one for $19 looks like a good option and I wanna find a few more, let's have another look. Here's a different one, about $15. Let's get this one as well and I think we can stretch it out and get one more. Okay, and another $15 and I get a third tug. So three different types of tug toys, I think I'm happy with that. We have been talking about enrichment for a little bit now and you might have noticed that I haven't got any of those classic dog toys that most people go for. We'll get them now. We still want some toys that are just either noisy or something that the puppy might find interesting to interact with. Okay, so this Smart Pet Love Snuggle Puppy Toy, I think that's one of the options I could get. Costs about $40, it's a little bit expensive, but we haven't got any of this type of toys just yet. So let's get this one. And then I think for $16, yeah, we can go with this one. So this is a squeaky plush toy. So let's get this one as well. We got to the end of the enrichment section there. Lots of things, lots of exciting stuff, a lot of different ways to offer food to the puppy and keep the puppy busy. The total for this section was $224. Next up, 
Trainee, one of my favorites. Training is going to be happening everywhere. We're gonna be taking the puppy places and training the puppy when we get to these places. We're gonna take the puppy to friends' houses, etc. We need a treat pouch or a training pouch. There's one here for about $16. Let's get this one. Okay, okay, clickers, we need some clickers. $4.50 for two clickers. Yes, let's get this. Training treats. Roughly $23 for three pouches. Yep, that sounds good. Now I have the dog food here. Dog food is going to be used both in the enrichment section and in the training session. I usually recommend people to feed their puppies during training sessions and using enrichment devices. So I put it in, in the training session here. So let's have a look. Let's try to find something that I could buy. $52 for Taste of the Wild. That looks like a good option. I also like Origin, so we could get this one for $94. It's more expensive, but also a brand that I like. I'll mention it again here. What you choose to feed your dog does not need to be this. This is just what I would buy if I was getting a puppy now. And finally for training, I really like these uh, raised beds. This one for $30, definitely, definitely going in the basket. So that gets us to the end of the training section. $125, not bad. The next section is transport. We're gonna start with the normal leash. I would probably get this one for $5.50. It'll do the job. This will be used both outdoors and indoors. I also need a double-ended lead. So let's get this one for $19. And we still need one more lead or leash. We need a long leash. So let's go for a 30 feet one, which is about $10. Let's get this one. Okay, we are done with the leashes, now we need the harness. I want a harness that I can work with the back attachment and with the front attachment, and ideally one that can work in the car as well. So I like this True Love dog harness here. It can work in a variety of different ways. I can put the double leash on it, and it's $29 at the moment, so we'll get this one. We need a collar for our puppy, $10, this one, and we need a name tag, so $8 for this one, let's get it. Next, we need poop bags. Okay, $15 for 540 bags of biodegradable poop bags. I think this is a go. One thing I really like to have with me when I am out and about with the dog is a collapsible dog bowl that I can use to offer the puppy or the dog some water. I found one, it's $13, so let's put this in our cart. That gets us to the end of the transport section it's actually less than i thought it's 110 dollars. i thought we were going to spend more on this one the next section is extras and i decided to call it extras because i couldn't really find another section where to put these two items i think everyone should get a good dog training book i could give you so many amazing books that have taught me so much over the years there's so much good stuff out there but let's go with something that just came out I'm just about to finish the book. It's called How to Train Your Dog, The Complete Guide to Raising a Confident and Happy Dog from Puppy to Adult. And it's from a few Australian colleagues. I've actually seen, it's from Jen and Ryan Tate. I've actually seen Ryan in a few demonstrations um, a couple of years ago with some of the dogs that are here actually. Um, so I've kind of seen slash met a couple of, of the dogs here on the, the front of the book. And let's see if we can find it on Amazon. Here it is, I found the book, it costs $24.50. So let's add it to the cart. I like the idea of getting a camera for monitoring the puppy. It's very helpful when you're teaching the puppy how to be alone. In those first few weeks when you, you're just teaching the puppy to be alone for maybe five minutes, maybe 10, maybe 15, you're slowly increasing the amount of time that you go away from the house and come back so that the puppy can slowly learn to be okay to be alone, I think a camera is a really good tool during that process. Okay, I think I found the one. It's the Pet Cube 2020 model, and it costs about $40. So let's add this to the cart. Extras section, it's only $64. At the end, we spent a total of, drum roll, $742. Now, I don't know, how does that sound? Does that sound like a lot or not enough? To me, it actually sounds low. 
Let me know in the comment section below if I forgot anything or if there are any items that you would recommend instead of the ones I chose. If you know of anyone that might benefit from this list, please share this video with them. I hope that if you are in a situation in which you are about to get a new puppy or you just got one, some of this content is helpful for you. With that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.